The sun beat down on the valley, two armies faced each other, on one side were the Israelites, God's chosen people. They were brave but they were afraid. Before them stood a mighty enemy, the Philistines, and among them was a giant named Goliath. Goliath was a giant among giants, he was taller than any man, almost ten feet tall, his armor was thick, his spear was heavy, and his voice boomed like thunder across the valley. He was a terrifying sight and the Israelites trembled before him. Every day Goliath would come out and taunt the Israelites. He mocked their god and dared them to send a champion to fight him. But day after day, no one dared to answer his challenge. The Israelites were paralyzed with fear. The sight of Goliath was enough to make even the bravest soldier turn pale. They had never seen such a fearsome enemy, and the thought of facing him in battle sent shivers down their spines. The odds of victory seemed impossible. Choose a man to fight me, Goliath roared, his voice echoed across the valley. If he can kill me, we will be your slaves, but if I win, then you will be our slaves. Day after day, Goliath repeated his challenge. He mocked the Israelites and their god. He called them cowards and boasted of his own strength. His words were like poison arrows, piercing the hearts of the Israelite soldiers. The Israelite army was demoralized. King Saul, their leader, was also afraid. He was a tall and powerful man, but even he felt small compared to Goliath. He paced back and forth in his tent, trying to think of a way to defeat the giant. The situation seemed hopeless. The Israelites were trapped, they couldn't go home, but they couldn't defeat Goliath either. Fear had gripped their hearts and they felt powerless against the giant's might. Far away from the battlefield, a young shepherd named David was tending his sheep. He was a small but brave young man, known for his skill with a sling. David was a man of deep faith. He believed in God's power and protection. One day David's father Jesse sent him to the Israelite camp. His brothers were soldiers in Saul's army, and Jesse wanted David to check on them and bring back news. David obeyed his father and set off for the valley. When David arrived at the camp, he was shocked by what he saw. The Israelite soldiers were cowering in fear, and the giant Goliath was shouting insults at them. David was surprised. Why were they so afraid? Why didn't someone fight the giant? David's heart burned with indignation. How dare this Philistine defy the armies of the living God? He might be a giant, David thought, but he was still just a man, and God, David knew, was bigger than any giant. Section 4. David's Unconventional Weapon David went to King Saul and said, Your Majesty, I will fight this giant. Saul was surprised. You? But you are just a boy. Goliath is a warrior, a giant among men. But David replied, I have killed lions and bears to protect my sheep, and this Philistine will be no different. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine. Saul, desperate for a champion, finally agreed. He offered David his own armor, a heavy bronze helmet and a coat of mail, but David refused. He was a shepherd, not a soldier. He felt clumsy and restricted in the heavy armor. Instead, David took his staff, his sling, and five smooth stones from the stream. These were the tools he knew, the tools he used every day to protect his sheep. He trusted in God and in his own skill, not in weapons of war. Section 5 A Sling, A Stone, and A Victory for the Ages David approached Goliath, his sling in hand. The giant laughed when he saw the young shepherd. Am I a dog, he roared, that you come at me with sticks? He cursed David and threatened him, but David stood his ground. He wasn't afraid, he knew that God was with him. You come against me with sword and spear and javelin, David shouted back, but I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty, the God of the armies of Israel whom you have defied. With a swift motion, David loaded a stone into his sling and hurled it at the giant. The stone flew through the air, aimed with deadly accuracy. It struck Goliath in the forehead with a sickening thud, sinking deep into his skull. The giant staggered, his eyes rolled back in his head, and he crashed to the ground like a felled tree. The earth shook with the impact. Goliath, the mighty giant, was dead, slain by a shepherd boy with a simple sling and stone. Section 6 Facing Our Giants The Philistines, seeing their champion fall, panicked and fled. The Israelites, their spirits revived, chased after them and won a great victory that day. David, the shepherd boy, became a national hero, a symbol of courage and faith. The story of David and Goliath is more than just a story. It is a timeless reminder that God can do extraordinary things through ordinary people, no matter how small or insignificant they may seem. It is a story about courage, faith and overcoming seemingly insurmountable odds. 
We all face giants in our lives, fear, doubt, insecurity, challenges that seem bigger than us. But just like David, we can overcome them. We may not fight giants with slings and stones, but we can face our challenges with the same courage, faith, and determination that David showed. Remember, with God on our side, no giant is too big, no obstacle too difficult. We can face our fears, overcome our challenges, and achieve great things just like David did. All it takes is faith, courage, and a willingness to trust in something bigger than ourselves.